Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So this is going to be a new series that I'm doing on a resource review. So we're going to look at many mathematics resources that are out there in the World Wide Web. And then I'm going to go through, explain how they work, uh, highlight some different features, etc. And then give my own rating on that particular, particular content. So if you like this video, please like, please subscribe, please tell those YouTube algorithms that you like my content. Okay, that would be really appreciated. Okay, let's get started. So this video is going to be based on Revision Village, which is really good for IB mathematics. And even if you're an IGCSE mathematician, for example, you may find some of the standard level content here very, very useful. Now, one of the th key things to highlight straight away is, as you can see, this is designed for the four new IB courses out there. So the applications and interpretations, standard level, higher level, and then the analysis and approaches, standard level and higher level. So let's get started. Before um, I do look at this resource, um, this is not a sort of paid video or anything like that. I'm literally going out there, finding particular resources that could be useful to you to revise for your IB exams or IGCSE exams. So let's get started. So uh, you go choose the course that you want from the option up here. So I'm gonna focus on applications and interpretation standard level as this course I think is completed by the majority of people. So we click on this. And then as you can see, the accessibility of the website is very, very good. So you have four buttons you can press here. We can look at the question bank, the practice exams, the key concept videos, and then end past paper solutions from previous IB papers. So let's look at question bank first of all. So in terms of the free content, it's very good. So you can get the number and algebra for free without logging in at all, without making a login account. You can get the functions uh, for free just by making a login account. And then you need gold for these three sections here. So there's quite a lot of actual free content here um, that you can get started with. Uh, let's look at the number in algebra. So we're looking at the application interpretation standard level. And as we click on that, it gives you a good mixture of easy, medium and hard questions uh, based on the topics that are given. So let's look at sequence and series, for example, which is an important topic for the applications interpretations course at standard level. And you can see that we start with the easy questions here. You can click these buttons here. So say you're fairly confident with this topic, you could start say with the medium questions like so, and then work your way through. Uh, for each question, there is a mark scheme. So if you click on mark scheme, you can see it goes through the answers really, really clearly as well. I uh, like the way they formatted. Uh, one thing to be aware of with some questions is I found some rounding errors in there. So they take a solution, for example, from part B and then use the rounded solution for then part C, which I don't think particularly is mathematically accurate. They should be taking the full decimal or even exact value if it's a question with pi, for example. So that's really good. Uh, what I really do like with this website is they give you video solutions for each and every part. So if you click on here, for example, you can actually right, ask to find the first term in this arithmetic sequence. And we are told that so you get a very nice, kind Australian voice that goes through each part of the question A, B and C. And as I already alluded to, you've got hard questions as well. So most of the questions I found in Revision Village are generally paper one questions. So those are the short answer questions for about six or seven marks, but they do have some of the longer um, style questions as well. So for example, here you can see you've got a 15 mark question, which is more applicable to paper two rather than paper one. So I do like that, but they could have a few more paper two questions uh, from my opinion. So that's the question bank. So if you want to revise everything on number and algebra, they've got that there. My favorite function though of this, particularly it's in the title, Revision Village, is when we actually look at the individual sections. So you'll see this now just coming up, the practice exam section, which is new. So it's a very new thing they've added to the website that I really like. Um, they break down the different topics on the IB course 
into the popular quizzes section to say you really need to revise your knowledge of compound interest and depreciation. Then you click on that, they give you a selection of questions. So three, four, five, six questions, usually ranging time-wise within sort of 25 to 40 minutes. And they also space out an easy, medium and hard question. So you can check your building up the difficulty levels you go through. So we've got four easy questions, we've got a medium question and then another medium question. Um, depending on the topic, they'll have hard questions there as well. But it gives you like a mini practice exam, all based on one topic, with the mark scheme and the video solution there as well. I really, really like that. So you can target your revision on specific topics. In addition to that, as you go towards your actual IB exam, they have also the revision ladders. So if we scroll down here, for example, and this allows you to practice by difficulty rather than by topics. So say you're currently getting fours on your IB course, whichever IB course that you do, and you want to practice the grade five questions, then you probably want to choose either level five or level six and then have a go at those questions. Now these are much longer, as you can see, this has got a two hour time scale and this has got a two hour time scale, but this allows you to target by difficulty, which is really, really good. And then to finish off, if you just need to get some practice paper practice, so you just want to practice an entire uh, IB past paper from easy to hard and everywhere in between, then they also got those as well, okay? Which sometimes are combinations from questions that are in the question bank as well, but puts it in a convenient format. Um, one thing that's not possible on the Revision Village website is to download any of these by PDF. So these have to be done online, but that's fine. You could have your uh, exercise book here. You could have the paper on the screen. So let's look at the very first one of the mock exam papers. Just show you what it looks like. And you'll see they've also timed it with the same timings as your real exam and with the same amount of marks. Okay, so they've got paper one and paper two. So you can see the difference. And you can see the first question is a nice straightforward box and whisker diagram. Um, you can go through the mark scheme as you go along. So you can do the question, check your answers, do the question, check your answers, and so on. So I do like that. And it's probably the best website out there for papers that fit this new course. Because what I found is teaching, I teach the higher level applications, interpretations, is that the old high level papers or stand level papers are not really appropriate for the particular course I'm teaching specifically. And this gives us a really, really good resource that really has questions designed for the specific course. Um, if we go back to the homepage, you'll also see the key concepts section as well, uh, which is free of charge for all these videos, which is fantastic. So say you're in a lesson with your teacher and you do not understand, for example, this concept of perpendicular bisectors, because that's very important coming to both applications courses and how to calculate a perpendicular bisector. You can click on this. I haven't logged in. This is all free of charge. You can get that on their YouTube channel as well. And it will actually go through the specific topic and a couple of example questions as well. Okay. So that's really, really useful if you want to go through a key concept that you did not understand in class. The videos are there. And this also includes uh, GDC tips as well. So how to become more familiar with your graphical display calculator. Um, one disadvantage is it's generally designed with the TI Inspire in mind, which is fine for myself. This is what I use in my videos. But if you have the Casio CG50 or you've got the TI84 Plus, for example, you may find that. Uh, a bit more difficult. Okay, and last of all, I'd just like to look at the membership tab as well. So if you're looking for membership of Revision Village, so you can obviously use all the free resources, which are great, I haven't logged in for example, um, but there are gold options as well. So they have prediction packs, for example, for the IB maths exams. So when you get closer to the exams, they make a prediction paper which they try and predict what's going to come up, which is fantastic. Uh, pricing in terms of unlimited is $150, and they've got a special offer until the May exams for $100 as well. So it's pretty inexpensive for what you're getting there. Um, the last thing I would like to highlight is the key information section, 
So this gives you a good summary of all the IB courses and the content that's shared, the content that's different. And for those that are looking at university courses, which is worth looking at, it gives you an update of which universities, mostly based in Britain, but as you can see, a couple in Canada and German universities as well. It gives you an idea of which courses are being accepted at these universities and which are not. So when you come to choose your option, if you're a year 11 pupil and you're looking for a choice for year 12, this at least gives you an indication of the kind of courses that you want to do. Okay. Uh, specifically, if you look at the high levels, application interpretations, the high level analysis and approaches, or if you're, say, an economics pupil, you may want to consider stand level analysis rather than stand level applications. So a couple of points there, but they've summarized it in a very sort of neat way. So it gives you a little bit more information on what universities require. It's not always totally up to date, but it's generally well done and it's nice and clear for you. So I'd like to then go through uh, my analysis of Revision Village. So I've broken it down into four separate sections. So accessibility, so how easy is it to get around the website? Um, how orientated it is with the exams, so how applicable is it for your specific IB exams, or IGCSE exams, or A-level. Uh, the variety, so do they use different approaches to teach things, do they use different resources to teach certain concepts, etc. And then finally, the next section is three, free versus paid content. How much of the content is free of charge, how much is paid, uh, how much are you getting for free, how much are you getting for paid. So accessibility is a really easy interface to use. So it's really, really clear as you go through. It has a very professional look to it as well. If you look at how the questions are written, they're written in a very clear style. Um, one issue I've had with Revision Village is when you log in and you want to try and get to a different section, sometimes you have to log in multiple times, which you know, can be a bit irritating after a while if you're using the website for a big, say, three, four hour revision session. So I gave it a three out of five, more to do with the login issue and being able to access that and also not having the ability to download anything as a PDF, for example. So you wanted to print out some questions, that's uh, fairly tricky to do, but I can understand why Revision Village do that. Exam orientation, they have a section for each of the IB level courses. So both analysis courses, high level, standard level, applications both higher and standard. So it's really targeted, which is what I really like about this website. And it's highly similar to the specimen paper. So if you see the specimen papers for all the different courses, um, you'll see the questions that are written are written with the same style in mind, which is very useful when you want as much practice of what the real exam will look like. Um, one issue is that um, it's not sometimes some of the courses are not similar to the old high level, stand level, or math studies papers. There are elements of all three courses within the new courses, but not entirely accurate. So for example, Voronoi diagrams is a new topic on applications, both standard and high level, and there haven't been questions on that before on any of the three other courses. So that can be a gap that can be forgotten about unless you use a website like Revision Village that practices those key skills. So I gave that a five out of five. It's fantastic in terms of exam orientation. Uh, for variety, the questions do test a variety of skills on each topic. So we saw the easy, medium, and hard, for example. That's really, really good to see. Um, the finance solver questions, for example, you'll see on there, mostly Thai inspired based. So I would like to see some more for the other calculators, particularly CG50. But again, I can understand that it's quite hard to teach the same thing for all three calculators and the calculators that I have not mentioned, for example. So I would give that a four out of five. And then finally, the free versus paid content. Well, I do think that the free content based on new number and algebra is fantastic. And if you just make an account with Revision Village, you can also access the functions section as well, which is very, very good to see. Uh, Unlimited Gold is currently at $150. If you want to buy the May part, then it's uh, much, much less. And I think that's a really good investment considering that if you've got unlimited gold, say you're starting in year 11, you've got two years, you've got all those 
past paper questions there, that's fantastic. Of course, talk to your school. If your school has that already, then of course, you can use their login as well. So I gave that a four out of five as well. And I think for what you're getting in terms of free content is actually fantastic for what you can access. So if we count all those together, so five plus four plus four plus three, we come then to a ginger mathematician final score for Revision Village of 16 out of 20, which I think is very, very good. It's one of the best resources out there. You can see why it was voted the 2019-2020 best IB resource for mathematics out there. And I agree wholeheartedly with that. There's just a few issues in terms of accessibility that I think should be highlighted, but in terms of the actual content and the quality of the content, it is generally of a high standard. Right, hope you enjoyed this different kind of video. Please like, please subscribe. Please mention in the comments if you'd like me to choose another mathematics resource out there and give my Ginger Mathematician final score on that as well. Hope you enjoyed that video. Bye bye.